Hey yo. What is going to mindset for the next decade? It's an online course I created to assist and guide you in aligning your mind, body, and soul, allowing you to tune into the multidimensional frequency of the cosmos. This course will teach an open mind individual the art and beauty of what I call golden mindsets, which is what I have and now expressing. It is my duty and responsibility to share this wisdom and gift with you as part of me. I am fulfilling my soul's purpose as one with all of us. Peace and love. Hi family, it's your boy Wizard Knight and welcome to Wizard Knight's Adventures, turning you into the multidimensional frequency to align you with the cosmos. This channel is about stimulating your six senses with cosmic energies of peace, love, harmony, and positive vibration. You know what I'm saying? Vibranium. Without any further talk, let's get into the motherfucking video. Today we are talking about the days of the week and how to use it for yourself. You know what I'm saying? The problem is society is misled you and lied to you about the days of the week and how you should understand it. They've put you in a world view of being a slave. So you're slaving your time for this money paper that they're printing. But today I'm going to tell you the truth about the days of the week, time, and how to actually use it to make your own currency your spiritual currency because everything is as above so below it is spiritual before physical now let's jump straight into the word days days d-a-y-s days d-a-z-e so you need to understand that a day in itself a day is a days created by the sun right the sun is what create the days without the sun there'll be no such thing as a day because the measurement of the sun and the travel of the sun is how scientists and all these people came up with the concept of time, seconds, minute, all the way to the days and how they correlate. It is all based on the reflection of the sun and how the planets are working with the sun to project this physical reality. So we need to understand a day is a days. You know what I'm saying? And what is a days? It's something you can get lost in. A day is an illusion, a projection, you know what I'm saying? And then a week is a wake, you know what I'm saying? A week is a cycle of wakes. So every week, you go through seven days, and you see how they say, oh, the world was made in seven days, right? Because that is the travel it takes for the consciousness of this sun that is up there to transform every seven days. There's a new mentality, a new perspective, you know what I'm saying? We've gone through a whole cycle of the sun being influenced by the different planets that correlates each day. So, a new week, there's a new wake, a new realization. That's what that means. So, let's jump straight into it. The first day of the week is not Monday and it's not Sunday. It's actually Saturday. Saturday is the first day of the week, you know what I'm saying, so get that straight, you know what I'm saying, stop following this Gregorian calendar and this lostness, you know what I'm saying, January is not the start of the year, every season, which is around March, is the start of the year, so get your astrology straight and actually know the shit for yourself, so you're able to utilize your time, because depending on how you're correlating your time is how you're correlating your worldview. So if you're lost in the time created for you by the shadow government and this fake government people, that is how your mind is going to perceive reality to, through that magic square, through that imagination, through those days. You know what I'm saying? So start to work with the days of the astrological bodies, you know what I'm saying? The real days. So yeah, Saturday is the first day and Saturday is a day to correlate your business and career. You know what I'm saying? Society is a very important day when it comes to working on shit that gives you stability, your time, your money. Time is energy, man. Time is currency. And Saturday is that time to be in that restriction energy where you're blocking off all indulgement and all shit that can distract you to focus your time on what matters to you most in form of your business and career and what can make you money. You know what I'm saying? Saturday is connected to the zodiac sign Capricorn and Aquarius. So you want to embody a lot of those energy and those qualities on a Saturday to get shit done. You know what I'm saying? Capricorn being that down to earth business person. That shit got to make sense. You know what I'm saying? It's got to be 
able to be practical in this realm of reality, your realm of reality, and how you're covering your spirituality. You know what I'm saying? And then you have Aquarius, which is about stable communication, you know what I'm saying? Which is the humanitarian, right? You know what I'm saying? So on you want to embody those qualities of speaking about what you believe in, you know what I'm saying, on a Saturday when it comes to you know what I'm saying, density, when it comes to three-dimensional things like business, career, and those form of fixed communication, because Aquarius is fixed air, you know what I'm saying, so, yeah, and that is why society is got niggas taking days off on Saturday, you should be working your ass off on a Saturday, but for them to misdirect you and start to harness your energy and get you lost, they have to, uh, take the Saturday off because they know how powerful Saturday is you know what I'm saying Saturn is the planet governing Saturday you know what I'm saying so working with Saturn Saturn is the matrix you know what I'm saying Saturn is the one that created this physical density reality that's seven that number seven you know what I'm saying that is Saturn you know what I'm saying and without Saturn this projection will not exist you know what I'm saying this matrix is run by Saturn and the moon but that's another video so you need to understand Saturday is a very powerful day for you to just work on your business on your career on shit that will make you money but society got niggas lost by uh, Saturday is a weekend don't work on Saturday just chill procrastinate watch Netflix and all of that shit is you wasting your time wasting your money you know what I'm saying? That way you're not caught up in, oh, I gotta work 9 to 5 for some demon, for the government. You know what I'm saying? This is how they get you fucked up. Saturday is your day. It's not a day to take off. You know what I'm saying? It's a day to work on what matters to you. Not what matters to them, but what matters to you. Even if you're someone that is working a 9 to 5 job, on a Saturday you need to know, make that 9 to 5 job your bitch. As in, you're not working for them to make currency, but they need you for them to make anything so spiritually you're not giving away your energy if anything you're harnessing the energy of whatever workplace you're in you have to start thinking like a boss it doesn't matter what environment it is it doesn't matter if you're an employee you know what i'm saying don't look at yourself as an employee just look at yourself as they need your service that is why you're working for them you're not working for them because you need their job because you need their employment nah nigga you got your own time and money they need you that is why you're working with them you know what I'm saying? That is how you should be thinking on a Saturday. That's how you should be thinking about work in general, dog. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you're working for another entity. Do not give up your rights, man. Do not let them be over you. You got to be your own individual, knowing that they need you. And the instant you feel like they're trying to control you, the instant they're trying to avoid that agreement of needing you, that is a day you fucking quit that job. But anyways, <laughs> I don't want this video to go too long, so I'm going to digress and move on. Oh, also, Saturday is connected to the root chakra in color red, black, and dark. You know what I'm saying? When something is dark, like dark red. You know what I'm saying? Red in general is the, is the Saturn days. But when something is dark in color, you know what I'm saying? Even like this black to do with Saturn, you know what I'm saying, dark blue, anything that's got weight to it, it's got density to it, it's to do with Saturday, now moving on, Sunday, the second day of the week, Sunday is self-worship day, and worship means fighting for what you believe in, you know what I'm saying, so that energy of Saturday, fighting for your business and career, goes into Sunday, but it's more on an egotistical way as in fighting for yourself. Not your ego. Don't get lost in me saying egotistical, but you know what I mean. Fight for yourself, your self-love. Sunday is a self-love day, doing what you love to do and fighting for what you deserve. You know what I'm saying? Not what you desire, what you deserve. So attracting that energy, you know what I'm saying? That Leo-like energy. Leo is the sign. You know what I'm saying? That rules Sunday. And um, Sunday is connected to the heart and solar plexus chakra, the color yellow, Andre, orange, I said 100, orange and being light. You know what I'm saying? 
light orange, light green, anything that is light in color, anything that is optimistic and uplifting is associated with Sunday. So Sunday is a good day to be in that energy. You know what I'm saying? Feeling uplifted or feeling good about yourself, playing your favorite music, you know what I'm saying? Going out to nature, you know what I'm saying? Just feeling the abundance. Sunday is very powerful for that. You know what I'm saying? And then we got Monday. Monday is the third day of the week and that is to do with your home, domestic situation, you know what I'm saying? Um, your emotions, you know what I'm saying? What you care about. You know what I'm saying? Monday is ruled by the moon. That's like straightforward. You know what I'm saying? And um you know what I'm saying, um ooh, I didn't talk about the elements. Saturday is ruled by the earth element, Sunday is ruled by the thoughts element, and then Monday is ruled by the water element and that is connected to the zodiac sign cancer and that all is to do with your reaction, your emotional state of being, your internal realm, you know what I'm saying? Monday is not a day for you to be working. You know I'm saying Saturday is a work day, Sunday is a self-love day, which is kinda like a whatever day you wanna make it, you can make it work, you can make it play, it's up to you. You know what I'm saying? But Leo is about play, so Sunday is more of a playful day. And then Monday is not a work day. So Saturday is a work day. Sunday is kind of a play day. Monday is not a work day. Monday is a rest day. Monday is a day to relax and reconnect with your internal realm. But you know society, the guy your niggas working on a Monday. That's why every Monday they say, oh, Monday is the first day of the week or whatever. You got to work. That's why motherfuckers are depressed on a Monday. Because instead of them nurturing their emotion, now they have to sacrifice themselves to work some 9 to 5 job. They have to wake up at 9 a.m. instead of them getting that extra one hour in bed for some self-nurturing type shit, you know what I'm saying? Man, life is fucked up. <laughs> Real shit, you gotta know about your astrology, dog. You gotta know about the time of the days and how to use it for yourself. Real facts. So let's keep moving on. Monday's to do with the heart and throat chakra, so it's good for empathic communication, you know what I'm saying? Caring and nurturing communication, and it's connected to the color green. And we already know the element is water. Now let's move on to Tuesday, Mars Day. You know what I'm saying? The fourth day of the week. And this is about action, passion, motivation, those shun, you know what I'm saying? Inspiration. You know what I'm saying? Mars is the planet of war. So going to war by the shit, you know what I'm saying, you like to do. You know what I'm saying? That is Mars Day. Mars Day is about working on your passion, your talents, you know what I'm saying, your gifts, you know what I'm saying, serving your purpose. Whoa. The planet Mars is going to help you serve your purpose on a Tuesday, on a Mars Day. So you got to get in that energy, you know what I'm saying. Don't dive in too deep with any of this shit and overexert yourself. But you want to be working with this energy so you know, okay, these are the best things for me to do on this day. So your scheduling goes to the next level. When it comes to scheduling and you're using astrology, best believe your organization skills is going to be off the chains. Your planning skills is going to be off the planet. Niggas are going to be like, how this nigga so stable? But they won't know, it's because you know your astrology, it's because you're using it to do what is best to do on each day. Big facts. Yo. Get with the goddamn program, nigga. Mars is just a very powerful day, man, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of energy, and um, Mars is the masculine, you know what I'm saying? It's the male, right? You know what I'm saying? So Mars is going to love those masculine energy on a Tuesday, you're going to feel that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to feel that masculine energy amplified. On a Tuesday, a Mars day, right? And um, the astrological sign that is associated with Tuesday is Aries and Scorpio. So you want to embody those qualities on a Tuesday. Aries is that nigga that's going to act before everyone thinks, right? You know what I'm saying? That aggression energy. You want to be about that. Don't go too far with it. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? Don't fucking self-destruct yourself. You know what I'm saying? But you want to use that Aries-like quality when it comes to taking action on your passion. Instead of you overthinking it, depending on your astrological sign and whatever life situation you're in, don't think. Just act first. And then you're going to be assisted in how to get that to the best quality on a Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? On a Tuesday, is very powerful for just... Being about the action, you know what I'm saying? Talk less, do more on a Tuesday. Big facts. You know what I'm saying? Mars Day is connected also to the root chakra and the solar plexus, you know what I'm saying? Which is all about stability and action, you know what I'm saying? You want to take action in a stable way. 
on a Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? That Scorpio energy as well is going to help you out with, you know what I'm saying, just being in a body. Because Scorpios are secretive, right? They don't talk about everything. They keep shit to themselves. So Tuesday is a good time for you to work on your passion and your talents. But don't just communicate about it and talk about it. That's for Wednesday. That's for the next day. On Tuesday, be silence with it. Work in silence. You know what I'm saying? You be that nigga that'll take action and you ain't got to say a word. Just keep doing what the fuck you're meant to be doing on a Tuesday. Best believe that. And then we're moving on to a Wednesday, right? <laughs> Wednesday, a.k.a. Mercury Days. You know what I'm saying? That is the fifth day of the week. And Mercury is the plan of communication, right? So... On a Wednesday is very good for communicating, socializing, and manifestation. Because Mercury is also powerful when it comes to transmutation of energy, right? You know what I'm saying? And Mercury is the planet of intelligence and flow. You know what I'm saying? Mercury is very good when it comes to flow, guys. You know what I'm saying? That's connected to the zodiac sign of Gemini and Virgos. You already know, man. I'm a Gemini and a Virgo. And I'm all about flow. I be talking about surrender to the flow every goddamn time. Because Mercury gives me the ability, you know what I'm saying, on a Wednesday is a day of flow. That's why I feel like Wednesday has such light energies, right? You know what I'm saying? Wednesday, everyone is like so open to interact and vulnerable with each other. There's so much compassion energy, you know what I'm saying, on a Wednesday. And Wednesday is rooted to the planet Mercury, but it also has association with Venus, you know what I'm saying, due to Gemini, you know what I'm saying, the communication, right? So on a Wednesday, Geminis love to communicate about everything, but on a Wednesday, there's that compassion energy, and that's the Venus aspect of it, you know what I'm saying, that vulnerability energy. And, um, what else, what else? Yeah, so Wednesday is connected to the throat chakra, also the heart chakra, you know what I'm saying, and it's the element of sound. Now, we talked about Mars, Mars the element of fire. So yeah, let's move on. Next we have Jupiter Days, aka Thursday. And that's the sixth day of the week. And Thursday is about knowledge, wisdom, expansion, good fortune, traveling, and you know, all those energies, right? It's an ambition, yes. That is Thursday for you, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, Thursday is just a very wise spiritual day. Thursday is that day where you want to meditate and really be about your spirituality. You can stop work. You can not, yo, just meditate. Be that guru. You know what I'm saying? Set that example for people around you on the Thursday. You know what I'm saying? Thursday is a very good day to go into that leader position. Tuesday also is very good for leadership. I'm making a video. Uh, so, so on the Thursday, you really want to just embody Sag and Pisces like qualities because those are the zodiac signs that's associated with Thursday. You know what I'm saying? You want to be like that Sagittarius nigga, you know what I'm saying? That guy that's got future sight, you know what I'm saying? You want to be about that spirituality, higher learning, purpose. Thursday is a very powerful day for that. You know what I'm saying? Pisces, that emotional water that's able to relate. You know what I'm saying? So Thursday is a good day to go out into the world to experience different things. You know what I'm saying? To build on your intuition. That's Thursday. Now, we are kind of established. Saturday is a work day. Sunday is a play day. Monday is a rest day. Mars, you know what I'm saying? Tuesday is a work day. You know what I'm saying? A passion day. Wednesday is a marketing day, so also a work day, a network day, you know what I'm saying? Jupiter, I would say that is more of a retreat, you know what I'm saying? So that won't be a work day. That would be kind of a retreat day for you. And then Friday is, so yeah, it will actually be a work day, but it will be a different type of work. It will be a spiritual work, you know what I'm saying? And then we have the last day of the week, which is Venus Day, Friday. And that is all about love and appreciation, you know what I'm saying? That is the feminine energy, you know what I'm saying? And, well, let me add to Jupiter Days. Jupiter Days is the day of the Father. So it's the day of the universe. It's a universal day on Thursday, you know what I'm saying? That is governed by the deity, Zeus, you know what I'm saying? What is other name for that? Shango in the Yoruba system right so that is the deity that works with thursday i saying i'm going to speak about the deities and all of that in another video but let's go back to friday right so friday is a feminine day is ruled by venus and that's a day of magnetic 
connection you know what I'm saying that electromagnetic pulse is amplified on Thursday your heart chakra is amplified I didn't talk about the chakra that's to do with Thursday you know what I'm saying the chakra to do with Thursday is um, the third eye and um, we could also link the crown chakra we could also link the crown chakra to Thursday you know what I'm saying and that is the element of light but yeah, back to Friday. So Friday is love, appreciation, the feminine energy, that electromagnetic connection of attraction, you know what I'm saying? And compassion is Thursday. Thursday is associated with the zodiac sign of Taurus and Libra, you know what I'm saying? And it is governed with the sacral chakra and the element of air, you know what I'm saying? So Thursday, you already know how niggas... Uh, I said Thursday, Friday. Niggas already know how you are on a Friday, right? On a Venus day. Last day of the week. Oh, we're gonna go to the bar. We're gonna party. But no, it's not the last day. I, it's actually the last day of the week. You know what I'm saying? But it is the weekend. You know what I'm saying? Also, Friday's the weekend. Then Saturday starts the week again. But people think, oh, okay, yes. It's a weekday and then now we got two days off for the weekend. But no, the last day of the week is Friday. And then that Saturday that you call weekend is actually the first day of the week. So instead of you, oh, uh, uh, it's my day off. I got Saturday and Sunday off. Nah, nigga. Saturday and Sunday, you're meant to be starting your new week. You should be working on those days. Now, your days off is Monday and Friday. Those are your two days off. You know what I'm saying? You actually get three days off. So it's like we've got Sunday, Monday, and Friday off. Because Sunday is like a play day. So that's kind of like an off day, right? You know what I'm saying? So yeah. So we have four working days and three, you know what I'm saying, rest days. You know what I'm saying? Days to do whatever we want to do. That's how you correlate it. You know what I'm saying? Four days to really be serious. Three days to be more laid back. But society's got you all fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Monday to Friday, you gotta work. And then you're getting Saturday and Sunday off. Those are like, Sunday is kind of cool, but Sunday they got you going to church. They got you doing all the shit, but Sunday is a day for self-love. You shouldn't be doing none of that shit on a Sunday. You should only be focusing on yourself on a Sunday. So they got your mind fucked up. Because you're using your days in totally opposite ways to the astrological alignments to the planets. And the planets come before us. You going against the planet is you setting yourself up for failure every fucking corner. Is you putting yourself in a holistic state of suffering. That's just how it is. The planet govern everything that happens on earth. Get with the picture. Get with the program. You know what I'm saying? You got to know about the planets to know about yourself. Because the planets influence you in so many ways. And if you don't know about that, then you're just like a fucking zombie walking dead, yo. Because the flesh is dead. But your knowledge and wisdom, your life essence, gives the flesh life. You know what I'm saying? The flesh is dead. It comes from the earth. You know what I'm saying? It's just fucking dust and grain or whatever this shit is composed of. But you, the spirit, you know what I'm saying? The one creating the frequency vibration is the one giving life to this dead vessel. It's the one allowing the Kundalini to flow. You know what I'm saying? And depending on how the planets are influencing you, is how you have the mentality and emotions to be able to arouse the energies that give this vessel life. This should go deep, man. Get with the astrology, guys. Big fan. Astrology is a very important thing to know. So you already know how society is fucking you up, right? So start to learn about how to really utilize your days and make the days work for you, man. Real shit. That's pretty much everything I have to say. You know what I'm saying? And, ooh, one quick gem to throw in this before I sign out. Now, you might be wondering, how are the days even made, right? The days are made using the energies of the five elements. That is why it's like everything's kind of a transition and a mix and matching. You know what I'm saying? So there's no really a linear system. Everything's like a cycle, right? So even the word when you say today, what does that mean? Today. So today is actually not just today, but it's two days. So if I'm going to do this today, you have two days to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? So they've got, even in the words, they've got you casting spells in yourself about how to understand your day. Because everything's a transition and the new day starts at 3 a.m. You know what I'm saying? 3 a.m. on the veil. 
develop handling the veil, right? It's thin, you know what I'm saying? You're more in tune with the spiritual dimension. That is where a new day starts. You know what I'm saying? It's the three AM is where a new day starts, not at midnight. You know what I'm saying? And everything's a transition. So once a new day starts, you're still having similar energies with the energy of the day before. That's why when you say today, you're not talking like today of me making this video, it is Tuesday. But when I say today, I wasn't talking about just Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? I was talking about yesterday and today, Monday and Tuesday, because I thought about making this video since yesterday. So you see the transition. It took me thinking about it during the moon days and then writing down the plan, doing my research. And then today, during this moment, this time, this now, everything came together into that days of me creating this shit. So you see how that shit works. So it's not that linear way. You cannot think about the days and time in that linear way anymore. Everything is a cycle. So you got to see the words you're using and why you're using it. Start to understand that shit. Start to know where all these energies are coming from. That way you can use it for yourself. But with that being said, that's a little for the thought, and um, yeah, that's that's it all for this video. If you guys enjoyed, then you know what to do. Don't forget to hit that like button, punch that subscribe button, turn on post notification bell so you get notified when we tonight is back in the building. And with that being said, guys, we tonight signing out. Peace, love, and positive vibranium. Namaste. <laughs>